In front of us, you see the illuminated building of the Harpa, which is a symphony and orchestra concert hall, let's say, which you probably saw also on your walking tour. Um, but it's a it's a, a beautiful building, and this time of year, um, almost every night, they have different Christmas performances, symphonies and orchestras and theatrical events that are taking place in the Harpa building. Obviously, very modern sculpture. Um, but a beautiful building. And then in a couple of minutes here, I'll point it out, it should be illuminated, possibly, maybe not, but uh, we may catch a reflection off of it if it's not illuminated, is a wonderful modern piece of art, uh, which was made by um, a man by the name of John Gunnar Arnason, and uh, he has actually done pieces of art around the country, but this is the most famous one. It's called the Sun Voyager. And uh, you've probably seen pictures of it when you were doing your research of Iceland. Uh, but it's a modern sculpture here on the left-hand side. Yeah, it's not. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's lit up, but it's coming up here on the left-hand side. It almost looks like um, uh, like the skeleton of a Viking ship, basically. I guess it does have some lights on it. Right here on the left on the shore. Almost like a skeleton of a Viking ship. Has nothing to do with the Vikings or a Viking ship. Absolutely nothing, but that's just what it resembles. But it's called the Sun Voyager. It actually represents um, a hope of prosperity and a new future uh, here in Iceland. And it's just a modern art depiction, but uh, John Gunnar Andersen does a, a number of different pieces of artwork with uh, aluminum um, and different metals that are, are uh, in most of the cities around Iceland, or small communities, I should say. <clears throat>